Hello everyone. In the upcoming sessions, we are going to learn step by step how to work with emails in automation process by using Power Automate Desktop. All right, I will give you a brief introduction about the Power Automate Desktop email automation process. Power Automate Desktop supports several email services and several ways of sending mail activities like SMTP, IMAP, Outlook, Exchange, and POP3. I will explain you briefly about these email services one by one. Let's start with SMTP. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. SMTP is simply used to transmit messages from source to destination. SMTP has the ability to queue up messages at receiving end, and this methodology is very limited. Next, POP3. It stands for Post Office Protocol, and it is the oldest but still supported by many email servers and provides the ability to download emails locally into machines. IMAP. IMAP stands for Internet Message Access Protocol and it supports multiple device access and provide quick turnaround for operations like changing labels, marking emails as read, etc. Now we'll talk about the Exchange. Exchange is the Microsoft Mail Server platform catering to large-scale business needs such as scheduling meetings, contact list maintenance, etc. Now, Outlook. Outlook is the email client used by business on the top of the Microsoft Exchange server. Now, in the upcoming sessions, we are going to work with email actions. For that, we need to make some of the changes over here while we are going to work with email automation process while I'm going to working with Gmail. Let's switch to Gmail. Over here, I'm using learning technologies 2020 at the rate of gmail.com. Before that, I want to make some of the changes in my settings for the pop as well as the IMAP. What are the changes we need to do? Over here, if you click on the settings, you will get these kind of tabs over here, general, labels, inbox, and so many things. Over here, whenever you are going to work with pop3 or IMAP, over here, you will find forwarding and pop or IMAP. Click on the tab. First of all, you need to enable two things. First, the pop is enabled. You have to select that radio button over here, enable pop for all emails. This is the first setting you require to do. And after that, IMAP enabled. If you see over here, the enable by default, I have enabled this one in my IMAP is enabled. So if you're having disable IMAP, Please select the Enable IMAP checkbox over here and then click on Save Changes. Once these changes have been successfully made, now you have to make one more change over here in your Google account. Click on your label on your email ID and then go to your Manage your Google account. Once you click on Manage your Google account, there you will find Security. Click on that tab. Over here you can see signing into Google. So you are having two-step verification. Click on that, make it off. And after that, the main thing is that less secure apps access. Whenever you are going to work with email automation, there what you have to do, you have to turn on the less secure apps. Now what I have made it, I have made it on over here. If it is by default, it will be in off state. Click on turn on access on the recommendation. There it will also allow less secure, make it on or off. Now, by enabling this thing, you can on it. After making the changes, we are ready to work with email actions such as retrieve emails, process emails, send emails as part of email automation. Let's get ready to learn email automation with Power Automate Desktop.